Hi everyone, I'm the guy between the keyboard and the chair and welcome to my channel. Okay, so Excel, I think there's four features that if they worked here, I'd be using this full time. No doubt about it. Um, the first feature that I'll be looking at is the auto-populate feature. I use a lot of auto-populate in Microsoft Excel and I cannot get auto-populate to work. This site drives me up the wall. Um, the second feature is the drop-down list feature. A little bit technical. Um, don't use it as much as I do auto-populate, but it is a, a go-to um, feature that I, I, I would love to have on the iPad Pro. The third one is probably where I should have started, the most basic of all, which is formatting a table. Um, that's what I use Excel for usually, it's for tables and, and I usually like to format tables and I can't do it on this device. And then the last feature, um, which is a combination, it's usually when I transition from Excel to PowerPoint and I use um, pivot tables or I use charts. So I need to be able to create a pivot table or be able to create a chart in Excel before I move it over to, to PowerPoint because usually the data is still going to change and I like to keep my data in Excel rather than in PowerPoint. PowerPoint is more of a, a visual presentation thing and Excel is, 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 is how companies are run. I have been an avid user of the Surface Go. Been using this since it came out, love it. I've been a Surface Pro user before this. Um, I use Windows quite a lot and this device has stood me in good stead. However, um, I eventually got drawn to the iPad Pro. This is the iPad Pro 2018 version. This is an 11 inch. Um, I like them at this size and I love this device. All right, let's get into it. Starting off with auto populate on Windows. So I like this feature. It saves a bit of time when you're trying to create a table and it has columns that are usually sequential. Um, for example, months. Um, you don't have to type the month um, in each and every column. You can just type it in the first and second. Um, then you highlight that selection. Um, if you notice that the cross is a white cross, if you bring it down to the bottom right, it turns into a little black cross. And if you drag that out into the area of concern, um, it'll auto populate the rest of the months. You're not restricted to months. You can also do this on values um, like numbers. Um, in this case, I want to start with 2020, but I don't want to go to 2021. I want to go to 2027, and then every seven years for this table that I'm creating, um, I'll do the exact same thing, drag it out to the area of concern, and then it would fill in and leave out um, the other years, so, so from 2027 to 2035. When I go over to the iPad Pro, I'm unable to replicate this feature. I can type the month, of course, um, and in the next column, I type out the second month. So it's January, February. I highlight my selection. I try and drag out what looks like the same as that bottom right hand corner, but it doesn't result in auto populate. The next feature I want to talk about is the drop down list feature. In the drop down list feature, um, you would want to be doing this where you are creating a table. Um, but in some of the columns, you want to restrict what a user or what yourself can, can put in as values so as not to, to mess up your data a little bit later on. Um, and you can achieve this by restricting what can be put into that cell um, by creating a drop-down list. So away from the table, this could be in another tab, you can create your drop-down list. In this case, I want to restrict what you can type in on gender. Um, so I only want three values. Um, I want male, female, and in case our survey um, person out there didn't ask the question, we'll have unknown as well. And then we come back to our table. You select the cells that you want to restrict. And on the top menu, um, you just go over to data. And then under data, you'll see another sub menu called data validation. If you go into that, the default, of course, for those cells will be any value. Um, you just drop that down and you say you want to allow only a list and then you specify your list to be just the, the three items that we created for our drop down list and then going forward for these cells all you can choose is from the menu that's available which is male female or unknown very very handy feature 
uh, and it is a feature that unfortunately I couldn't replicate in the iPad Pro. I can of course in the iPad Pro create drop down lists because it is a spreadsheet and I can create these items but I cannot restrict other cells later on to only allow me to select from either one of these that we've specified under our drop down list which is quite a pity I use this feature quite a lot the next feature which is the one I do believe I should have started with is formatting a table this for any spreadsheet program seems to be the most obvious thing to pretty up your your table to format your table um, to give it kind of a style um, so here in windows um, if i want to pretty this table up i just select the table in concern um, headers included i go over to the home menu um, and under the home menu i've got a format as table and you'll see some stylized tables over there i'll pick this blue one um, and i can specify whether my table has headers or not and bob's your aunt if i go over to ipad pro and i try this out i don't have this option i cannot stylize at the click of a button as i did on the windows the next feature that i do want to talk about then is um, one where if you are wanting to move your 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 information onto powerpoint um, you want to start making use of things like pivot tables and charts um, the advantage of that is you can aggregate your data you could even anonymize your data um, using excel spreadsheet uh, excel spreadsheet but when you take it over to powerpoint you kind of give it a nice visual representation so here in terms of our survey let's say our survey guy went out and and he got some answers he asked some questions and they and we scored um, we don't want to say joanne got the score or sipo got that score um, so what we want to do is we want to create a pivot table um, where we can aggregate and anonymize our responders so you can click on insert and under there there's a pivot table and from our pivot table we can then say we just want to expose whether they were male or female and then we can of course drag the the results from our survey and it'll sum them up um, it doesn't really make sense sometimes to show the actual values because no one knows the question that you ask so maybe we could convert that into um, percentages and those are things that you can kind of do in a in a a pivot table but of course when we're going over to powerpoint um, even that doesn't look visually appealing um, so you can convert your pivot table into a chart and you can do that here by just clicking on the insert chart and there is a recommended chart option i choose a pie and we'll kind of show you the types of um, pies that are available and then we can drag that out and the key thing here is the pivot tables which is something that i cannot do on the ipad pro and that's it those are the main features the four features on excel that make it difficult for me to switch from a windows laptop to ipad pro um, once sorted the transition will be much much easier if you enjoy the video please press the like button and um, please subscribe if you'd like for me to make more content like this. I'd appreciate it. And until next time, this has been BKNC.